Hello. Um, I will speak a bit about Rocooked. Um, Rocooked is uh, first uh, for people who were well, not aware about that. Um, the, the main issue solved by Rocook is when you have a bunch of DPX or TIP files, a lot of files, like for example, thousands of files because you have one file per video frame. So if you, you have one hour of content, sometimes your storage becomes just crazy. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't understand why it was done like that, but it is the case with the scanners. And it is not playable by several players, uh, not Windows Meta Player or VLC. It is just impossible. And uh, the size is huge, especially for 4K content. And uh, there are sometimes with some interoperability issues uh, when you have a, a DPX from one scanner and you want to use in the workflow, but uh, the workflow just supports another flavor of DPX. So Rocooked, the goal is to uh, fix that, and we create a different, um, a, 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 only one package with Rocooked, so you have one file <clears throat> with all the video, all the audio, all the sidecar files just in one file. And this file, this file is playable by a lot of players because we focus on only uh, standard, standardized um, format law, Matroska, FFV1, and FLAX for the container, video, and audio. And also we, with a huge size, it is still huge that we divide um, the, the size by two, so for, for your storage, it is still a lot, but a bit less expensive. Um, but one of the issues in some archive is for legal reasons or for the workflow, it, it, it needs to be reverted to DPX so it, we can use the storage of Matroska and FFV1 and FLAC only for the storage or for player. But when we need to go back to the DPX, it is possible. It is the goal of Coco. We solve this issue. You need to store, you need to. to still have your DPX, so we, we compress, we store with one file, and when you need the, the DPX, we can revert to the DPX. So a lot of difficult, uh, difficulties with that, because DPX uh, is pretty old. Uh, there is a spec at SMBT, but uh, some scanners are not spec compliant, very funny. Uh, then in the spec, it is when you have some padding bits. So, for example, if you have 10, 10 bit content, uh, it is stored three times 10 bit, 30 bits, but there is some padding to uh, um, 32 bits, and it, it, should, uh, it shall be zero, but it is not. So, when we promise to revert to the DPX exactly the same DPX files, we need to handle such cases. So, we don't know. It is a bug, maybe in uh, uh, in the scanner. There is no it, the, the, the bits are a bit useless, but we promise to revert to the exact DPX file, so we need to store that. And uh, we need also, the promise is to be completely reversible, so we do a lot of checks with our cooked, and um, it is sometimes difficult to do that. Um, with Rocook now, uh, thanks to the sponsor, we have a lot of uh, flavors supported. 8, 10, 12, 16 bit, RGB or only gray. Uh, also, different wave uh, for the audio, different channel comp, different frequencies, and so on. So, uh, we, we develop in priority uh, the support of uh, the DPX files from our sponsor. And now, with Rocook, uh, we have several uh, sponsors, so we, um, we try to, to have uh, a small cost per sponsor and to have uh, several sponsors. So now we have more than 20 recooked sponsors and users. So it is, it was, uh, there was a need about such kind of um, uh, uh, project. Um, a lot of archives were getting their DPX and they were saying, okay, I need to handle my thousands of files and I have no choice. But when we talk, for example, uh, here at, uh, at No Time to Wait, we see people have the same kind of problem. So why not being together and to pay every sponsor just a bit and we can create such kind of tool. So, um, so yeah, with the text version of the sponsors, not only the logos, but thank you to uh, all the sponsors for that. 
But uh, now we have still some issues. Um, some very already a lot was done, but now we need still to, to develop a bit. Uh, we, we use FFV1. Uh, it is an open source lossless format, but it is slow, so we need to, to improve it a bit. Uh, it is the most requested improvement, uh, okay, because of the performance is a, a bottleneck, but uh, it is something not so quick to do. There are some alternatives. Uh, Joanna, for example, used a lot of uh, GNU parallel for optimization because it is not only uh, the, the CPU sometimes, it is also the storage which is slow. So it is good to, to run different uh, raw cooked um, on different uh, with GNU parallel. So when one uh, instance of raw cooked uh, is stopped by the I.O., another one can use uh, the compression and so on. So yes, it is slow, but when we do a lot of raw cooked instance in parallel, it is uh, also better. Um, when, uh, the problem with compression is when, when you have a storage block corrupt, it happens sometimes with a LTO, uh, we, we may lose a bit more because we compress, and it, uh, if the corrupt block is at, at the beginning of uh, a FFV1 block, you lose the complete block, the slice. So for that, uh, it, some sponsor requested to, uh, to have uh, some Erasure code, so we can retrieve the uh, lost block in the storage block. So we developed uh, some uh, error correction code. We have a proof of concept, and uh, we hope to to have something stable in the next month. Uh, we, we try to be the zip of uh, DPX, but for now it, it is all or nothing. When you revert to DPX, you have to, to, to revert to all the DPX only, even if you only want one file for a specific reason. So as we want to be the zip of DPX, we need to implement to be able to to get one, only one file, for example. So it is the long-term uh, idea we have uh, with ProCooked. Um, also, with now with 4K content, uh, it may be a big file at the end. So, okay, a lot of small DPX files, and we create a, one unique file, but sometimes uh, it was too small at the beginning, and now it is too big. <laughs> Okay, so some sponsors uh, would like to have to, to be able to split uh, maybe 10 minutes or just maximum size, like one terabyte for storage reason. <clears throat> so this is something we want also to, to implement directly in raw cooked. Uh, for the moment, we have only a command line. So uh, it, is diff it is easy to use when you know the command line, but sometimes it is better to have a graphic interface, so we plan to have a graphic interface. So how we, sponsor, we, we do the sponsorship of ProCooked? It is open source, all is open source. Uh, but uh, there is a small thing, we put a license key uh, on the deliverable, on the binaries. So when you download the binaries from our website, you, you can test with uh, the 10-bit RGB, uh, it is open, but if you want to, to use other uh, flavors of DPX or TIFF, there, there is a key to, 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 to buy. So it is still open source, but when we, we deliver something, uh, we, we put this key so for motivating people to uh, sponsor a bit um, uh, or cooked. It was a discussion between the sponsor, and it was a way we found to motivate more people to, uh, to sponsor raw cooked. Uh, we ask 1,000 euro um, for uh, a sponsorship, and uh, we, we, we don't want to have one big sponsor uh, paying a lot. We want to have more small sponsors. So 1,000 euro compared to uh, the storage cost divided by two, it is not a lot. Do the computing, and you will see it is not so much. Uh, for the moment, uh, we uh, we have a good financial sustainability. We have different sponsors, and compared to the cost of the development, it is more or less okay. We keep getting a new sponsors, so it is fine. Um, we plan to sell the GPU because it is the most uh, requested thing, but it is long to develop, so we plan to sell the GPU, the GPU accelerated version. Still open source, but maybe not available to everyone. We'll see how we manage that. 
And when we implement more and more options, we put a license key also on that. So uh, to have a, a good financial sustainability about that. So this is how we do with Roku. So it is a different business model, but still open source, but trying to motivate several small uh, entities to participate uh, together to the, um, to the finance of Roku. That's wonderful. That's all. Thank you so much. If anyone has any questions, sure. what we have in here, unique opportunity. <laughs> I have one. Um, so the community help um, to, to to make this product more sustainable. How would you recommend people might be able to help the open source project to be more accessible, be more, um, yeah, just to dur to be endurable and to to what? Broader. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, can you repeat? <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at it. Always very much have I. I wonder if there's any way that the um, users can help you more, maybe documentation. Um, or... Yeah, we we are on my side. I am very technical, and sometimes I forget the documentation, for example. Uh, so, and my English is not so good. <laughs> so, if you can participate to uh, work Hooked by creating a documentation and help, we have a, a manual of work Hooked. Um But for the moment, it is very light. Uh, you can also do some uh, automation about uh, how to, to be sure that Rockhook works well with your workflow and so on. But yes, the most important thing, from, in my opinion, for people who are less te technical is to document everything and to have a good manual of Rockhook, for example. So it is very easy to do, so if you can, please do. <laughs> Not wanting to self publicize, but I helped by just recently putting together a cheat sheet on the paralyzation that we use at the BFI. And I think it would be great if we could have maybe a more user friendly, easy intro cheat sheet if anyone would like to help or help. I thought that another point where people could help is about the case studies that are interesting to show how it works in practice. So, how to exactly uh, a, a good point? It is say how you use Rockhooked in-house. It will be also good. So you, you show to others how you do it. OK, we have one more question here. Or? Uh, small remarks, uh, Steve from Matroska. Uh, you mentioned that you want to use a file splitting. Uh, I'm sure you know the segment linking in Matroska. That would be very useful. It's because Matroska was created when people were mo putting movies on CDs, so you had to split your files. So it's a built-in feature of Matroska. And basically, when you put all your files in one place, when you open one of the files in VLC, it's seen as one, uh, like the sum of all files uh, virtually. Yeah, exactly. There is the segmentation feature in Matroska. Um, the issue we have there is that we use FFmpeg for the compression for the moment. And if I remember well, they don't support that. So uh, yes, we, we think to, to have our own Matroska mixer, maybe uh, in order also to optimize. Uh, we have different passes for the moment. We do the analyzing of the DPX, and then we do uh, the transcoding. And we plan to merge that and to have our own Matroska mixer. And if we do that at long term, because it has a cost also, uh, we plan to, to have the feature of the segmenting feature in uh, Matroska. Yes, it will be good to have. Just It is a matter of cost of development always. Um, thank you so much. I know from personal experience what an amazing tool Rockhooked is. So thank, you. thank you. Thank you from the community that uses it.